With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is, with what minimum speed must a particle be projected from origin so that it is able to pass through a given point that is 30 meter comma 40 meter and we have to take g equals to 10 meter per second square and these are the given options 60 meter per second 30 meter per second 50 meter per second and 40 meter per second okay so let me first draw the figure so we have okay let's say we have projected a particle in this fashion okay following a projectile motion okay now in order for the particle to pass this point this point must lie on this path right that is 30 meters comma 40 meters okay so we have launched a projectile with some initial velocity let's say u with an angle theta okay now in order to projectile to pass through this point it's it must satisfy the trajectory equation also right trajectory equation so we know that the trajectory equation is given as y equals to x tan theta minus 1 by 2 g x square over u square cos square theta right now we have the value of y equals to 40 meters and x equals to 30 meters so putting these value in this equation we will get so this is 40 equals to 30 10 theta minus 1 by 2 into the value of g is 10 x is 30 that is square is 900 divided by we have u square cos square theta right so this will cancel out by 5 okay so we will get here 40 equals to 30 10 theta minus we will have here 4500 divided by u square cos square theta also we can cancel out one zero from the whole equation and after taking lcm and solving it further we will get the final equation as u square equals to 450 divided by cos square theta times 3 tan theta minus 4 okay now see we have to find the minimum speed in order to particle to cross this point right so speed must be minimum so now to minimize this speed we have to maximize this denominator okay for u to be maximum let this denominator be f theta okay so for u to be minimum for u to be minimum we have to keep f theta as maximum right so for to find f theta maximum value we have to differentiate f theta so let me write f theta first we have let's multiply cos square theta inside so we will get 3 sin theta cos theta minus 4 cos square theta okay i am writing tan theta as sin theta upon cos theta so one cos theta and cos theta will cancel out further i can write this three sin theta cos theta in the terms of sin 2 theta so that is multiplying 2 in denominator and numerator we will get 3 by 2 now here it will be 2 sin theta cos theta that is sin 2 theta minus 4 cos square theta okay now to maximize the value we have to find f dash theta okay differentiation so f dash theta would be equals to 3 by 2 the differentiation of sin 2 theta would be 2 cos 2 theta right minus we have the differentiation of 4 cos square theta would be 4 into 2 cos theta multiplied by minus of sin theta right the differentiation of cos theta so this 2 and 2 will cancel out and we have to equate this with 0 to find the value of theta so here we will get 3 cos 2 theta this minus minus will become plus and this 2 cos theta sin theta is again sin 2 theta only right equals to 0 so from here if i solve further we will get 10 2 theta is equals to minus of 3 by 4 right and also we know that the formula for 10 2 theta is given as 2 10 theta divided by 1 minus 10 square theta and this is equals to minus 3 by 4 further we can 
solve this and we will get a quadratic equation okay so the quadratic equation we will get is let me cross multiply it 8 tan theta equals to minus 3 plus 3 tan square theta and further i can write this as 3 tan square theta minus 8 tan theta minus 3 would be equal to 0 so on factorizing this quadratic equation we will get two factors one is tan theta minus 3 another one is 3 tan theta plus 1 now see if i solve this value we will get the value of theta to be negative but see theta is lying in the first quadrant so theta must be positive therefore we can ignore this value so from solving this we will get the value of tan theta equals to 3 okay now we know that this is the ratio of perpendicular by base and we have to find the value for cos theta also so from here if we find the value of cos theta so we will get this as base divided by perpendicular square that is 3 square plus b square so we will get as 1 by root 10 so now this is the value of cos theta now we can put this value here okay in the term of in the u square term so we will get here u square let me write it again we have 450 divided by we got this as cos square theta into 3 tan theta minus 4 right so let me just put the values so from here we will get u minimum whole square that is equal to 450 divided by that value of cos square theta would be 1 by 10 so into we will get 3 into the value of tan theta is 3 only minus 4 so here we will get 4500 divided by we have 3 into 3 is 9 minus 4 is 5 so this will cancel out by 900 so now taking under the, the root both sides we will get the value of u, u minimum equals to 30 meter per second so this is the required answer okay and from the given options we have a b c and d option b is the correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today